Do you ever notice your toddler sleeping with their mouth open? If so, it might be more than just a quirky sleep habit. When children are ill, they often sleep with their mouths open due to blocked upper respiratory passages. This is standard during the course of an illness. Once your toddler's health returns, it's crucial to observe if the mouth open sleeping continues. If it does, it's a sign that their breathing pattern has been disrupted, and they've possibly developed a habit of improper breathing. The question now is, how do you discern if this is indeed a habit? One telltale sign is if your toddler breathes normally through their nose during the day, but their mouth pops open at night while sleeping. This discrepancy might indicate that their breathing habit is not developing as it should. But what are the effects if toddlers continue to sleep with their mouths open? For starters, their body can become dehydrated, leading to frequent wake-ups for water. This constant interruption might result in insufficient sleep, causing concentration and attention problems the next day. Time, children's adenoids and tonsils may begin to swell, leading to upper respiratory tract infections, which, if not addressed, might become chronic. Oral hygiene could also deteriorate, leading to tooth decay. Furthermore, their jaw may start to recede over time, and the airway may narrow, increasing the risk of apnea. Now, let's discuss what can be done if your toddler is in the habit of sleeping with their mouth open. During the day, monitor your child to see if they can keep their mouth closed. If they can, explain to them, in an age-appropriate manner, why this is important. Make it a fun game. For instance, if the child catches the mother with her mouth open, the mother should do something. If the mother catches the child with their mouth open, they should do something. You can also try placing a small piece of tape over their lips during the day, not at night, to encourage keeping the mouth closed. Make nasal cleaning and brushing teeth before bedtime a routine. Also, remember that the resting place for the tongue is the palate. You can play games like palate clapping to ensure that your child's tongue is resting on the palate when their mouth is closed. In some cases, using a midline open tape according to their age could be beneficial. However, these tapes should only be used when you are sure your child can remove the tape on their own. Sleeping habits, like all habits, take time to form, and the same goes for changing them. It's a process that requires patience, understanding, and a little creativity. But the question remains, are you ready to help your child develop healthy sleeping habits?